Now, every problem is a little different, and all of the database products are a little different. So most of what I'm going to cover in this lesson applies in the general case, but not always. But one of the things that does apply in almost every general case is this notion of tables. So let's say we're building a site like Reddit that's going to take links from users, and we will store them in a database and allow users to vote on those links, and then we'll show what's the most popular. So we'll probably have a table for links. And this link is made up of a number of things. It's got an ID. It's probably got a number of votes. It's got the, the user that submitted the link. It's got a date of when the link was submitted. And it probably has a title. This is what we display on the site. And a URL. So these are all called columns of the database. The uh, columns are basically the properties that make up uh, a particular type. So in this case, our type is a link. That's what we're going to call our table. And these are columns. Now, every entry of a link in this table is called a row. So we may have a link that looks something like this. Here would be an example ID, 5. It's just an integer. Uh, the number of votes that this link has. The user that submitted it. This is an interesting column. We'll come back to this. The date of when the link was submitted. And a title and a URL. So let's talk about uh, each of these columns. Now, this thing in its entirety is called a row. And a row is one instance of you know, an element in this table. So you know, we'll have many, many rows for all the links that are submitted. And, and my, my label isn't very good here, but these are the columns. Columns go down, rows go across. Let's talk about each of these columns. So the ID column is important in almost all tables. Um, generally, every row will have an ID. And this is how you refer to that row specifically. So this is link number five. It's not required in, in most databases that you have something called an ID, but it's really helpful. And in some da databases, it is, in fact, required. Um, usually, it's an integer. It could be a string. The database on Google App Engine uh, allows you to use uh, integers or strings. So this column here, votes, this, this column is also an integer. You know, this just refers to the number of votes on this link. This column here, user, is also an integer. So this is a reference to the ID of the user who submitted the link. So we may have another table called you know, users, or user, that may have its own set of columns, one of which is an ID. It may also have like name and, uh, and date and maybe like a password. So there could be a, a, another table called user that stores all of our users. And you know, this column is just a reference to this other table. And we'll come back more to um, these types of relationships later. But you know, just know that this is a common way of doing things. OK, so then we'll have, a, we'll have our, our date column for the link. And this probably has a type of, of date. Not all databases support the date type, but the ones we'll be using in this class do. And it's really handy to you know, store the stuff. And this is ultimately probably you know, an integer. But uh, you know, depending on the sophistication of the database, it may have a real date type. And then, of course, we'll have the title, which is uh, a string. You know, this may also, in some databases, be known as text or varchar or, you know, there's lots of ways of referring to it, but it's basically just, you know, referring to this type, but it's, you know, just a string. And URL is the, is the same thing. It's also a string. Um, our table is made up of, you know, defined of columns, and it's filled up with rows. You know, every time a user submits something, we add a new row. So if another submission comes in, it may have zero votes and submitted by user 27. This table can have a lot, of, a lot of data in it. Before we go into specific database stuff, let's, let's work through some examples in Python of you know, how we might manipulate this kind of structured data programming.